Hello students, I am happy to meet you through this video. Hope you would have written all your 11 standard exams well. I know still there is one more exam. So don't worry about that. We don't know when they are going to conduct that, right? So let us not waste time. So use these days properly. So I don't know how much you studied in 11 standard. For most of you, 11 standard may be a little tough, right? But 12th standard will be very easy and interesting one. It is not like 11th standard first volume. It is easier than 11th standard second volume. So easy you can study. Utilize these time. So don't waste time. Every class you attend and follow it up. That's very important. So that you can make 12th standard very easy and comfortable. Okay. So we'll start the first lesson. Totally there are 12 lessons. So first lesson I'm going to take in around seven or eight classes we'll try to finish that okay so first chapter is very easy topic it is applications of matrices and determinants matrix is not a new thing for you right from 10th standard you are studying right you know what is matrix that's a topic you enjoyed a lot right so what is matrix it is an arrangement of elements in the rows and columns uh, we denote matrix using capital letter you know different types of matrices what is row matrix what is square matrix right you know everything then matrix multiplication you be very careful you are remembering how we multiply matrix addition subtraction okay corresponding element we do that right but multiplication row by column so that you practice well okay that you need here that is matrix so we are going to see some of the applications then determinants in 11th standard you study right determinant can be simplified right there are some differences between matrices and determinant matrix is an arrangement you cannot simplify but determinant you can simplify you can equate that answer with the real number right so determinant can be simplified and the properties you studied so this year we are going to study the applications of matrices and determinants so for that first what you have to study here singular and non-singular matrix what is singular and non-singular matrix listen suppose a square matrix is given suppose a is a square matrix a is a square matrix we want to check whether it is singular or non-singular with this matrix you cannot do anything you convert it into a determinant you write determinant a you find out so matrix you cannot expand it right so you write the determinant determinant 1 2 minus 1 3 expand it if you expand what you get when you expand 1 into 3 3 minus minus 2 right so minus minus 2 this plus 2 your answer is 5 it is not equal to 0 so a matrix is given it's a square matrix to check whether it is singular or non-singular you find the corresponding determinant and you simplify if your answer is not zero we say it is non-singular if your answer is zero suppose you take some other determinant i'm taking b is equal to 2 1 uh, minus 2 minus 1 if you expand what you get 2 into minus 1 what is that minus 2 2 into minus 1 minus 2 minus here 1 minus 2 so plus 2 so the answer is what 0 so if you find the corresponding determinant matrix you cannot simplify so convert the determinant and expand right if the determinant value is 0 it is singular if the determinant value not equal 0 we say it is what non-singular so see the definition a square matrix a is singular if they cover the condition determinant a is equal to 0 and it is non-singular if determined a not equal to zero okay so this is important definition you can note down a square matrix is singular if determined a equal to zero it is non-singular if determined a not equal to zero okay now we are going to see minors and cofactors you know what is minor listen suppose a matrix is given two three minus one four one five two zero three some matrix is given you take a sub matrix sub matrix means you take any part so i'm taking like this is a sub matrix three minus one one five find the corresponding determinant you convert it as a determinant three minus one one five this is called a minor so minor means 
a sub matrix determinant of a sub matrix determinant of a sub matrix a matrix is given you take sub matrix takes few elements okay and you take you can't take simply an element you can leave some row some column take the remaining okay so that is called sub matrix write it as a determinant this is called minor so minor of the elements listen how to find minor of the elements suppose i am taking a 3 by 3 2 3 minus 1 4 1 4 1 5 2 0 3 the minor of first element we denote it as m what is the position you know that right it is 1 1 right so you know the position so first element a 1 1 second element a 1 2 right a 1 2 a 1 3 a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 3 a 3 1 a 3 2 a 3 3 right suppose i am we want to find the minor of this element 2 the position we say it is 1 1 right so m 1 1 that means minor of the elements it is in the first row first column first row first column this is that number right it's minor so what's the method you know leave that row leave that column take the remaining 1 5 1 5 0 3 2 is here leave that row leave that column take the remaining that can be simplified right 1 into 3 3 minus 0 in the number is what 0 so it is what 3 suppose i want to find the minor of this 5 what's the position which position 2 3 right so m 2 3 question they may ask like this they won't normally they won't ask find the minor of 3 because here you can see 2 3 right we don't know which 3 they mean so normally they ask like this okay a 2 3 a 2 3 means second row third column so that is this 5 how can you find the minor you know that row and column we leave it that particular row that column listen this row this column you leave it take the remaining 2 3 2 0 right 2 3 2 0 that is simplify that gives what minor so 2 into 0 0 minus 2 into 3 6 so like and it, so the answer is minus 6 like that you can find minor minor we denote it as m i j m i j generally we write m i j and next we study cofactor cofactor there is a small difference between minor and cofactor cofactor is actually signed minor we look into the sign also please listen here cofactor of we write c or capital a a i j this gives cofactor a i j it is minus 1 raised to i plus j minus 1 raised to i plus j m i j so cofactor means it is minor only it is minor only but we have something here minus 1 raised to some number it is it cannot be 4 5 and all it is either plus 1 or minus 1 because minus 1 raised to 2 what is minus 1 raised to 2 plus 1 minus 1 raised to 3 minus 1 minus 1 raised to 20 if the power is even number it is plus if the power is say 27 odd number it is what minus so this gives only the sign it is plus or minus because minus 1 raised to something what is the power i plus j i plus j suffix you add so that's why the position is important okay so i have found this element i is 2 j is sorry i is 3 j is 2 right so when you find cofactor when you find cofactor what do you do no so if they give the element suppose you want a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 right if it is a 3 by 3 we see the sign here see the suffix 1 1 add it 1 plus 1 2 2 is even number so you put plus 1 plus 2 3 3 is odd number so the power is odd number if it is odd number you put minus 1 plus 3 4 even number so plus 2 plus 1 3 
odd number minus 2 plus 2 4 even number plus 2 plus 3 5 odd number minus 3 plus 1 4 so plus 3 plus 2 5 odd number 3 plus 3 6 even number so 2 3 by 3 it will be like this plus minus plus minus plus minus plus so for the example you don't waste time okay first time you check you must know how we are getting but exam you don't waste time for 3 by 3 you write start like this plus minus plus minus like that you write then you write the minor suppose you want a11 the first number leave the row leave the column this is what you have simplify that 1 into 3 3 minus 0 that can be simplified for the second one cofactor minus is there already second number is this one leave that row that column 3 3 is the second number right so leave that row and that column so what do you have 4 into 3 12 minus 10 12 minus 10 12 minus 10 is 2 but outside you have minus so the answer is minus 2 like that you can write how can you find the cofactor of last number this one it is plus leave that row leave that row that column so that row and that column will leave it these are the four numbers you have right 2 into 1 2 minus 4 3 is 12 okay so like that you can find cofactor okay you can find all the cofactors totally nine elements for objective question they can ask they can ask find one or two cofactors right some three mark question, sorry five mark also they can ask so cofactors that is very very important so I hope you understood how to find cofactor minor and cofactor now listen the definitions minors are determinant of sub matrix right minors are minors are determinant of sub matrix it is denoted by mij that is minor now see cofactor what is cofactor cofactors are signed minors right cofactors are signed minors a i j is minus 1 raised to i plus j m i j okay so the next one is very very important one adjoint of a matrix please listen how to find adjoint of a matrix adjoint adjoint of a matrix a in short we write like this a d j adjoint of a okay we write like this i'll tell you what is adjoint a all of you know how to find cofactor now right suppose a is a matrix given a is a matrix given suppose it's a 2 by 2 or 3 by 3 a 3 by 3 matrix given you know how to find cofactors you find the cofactor of all the elements a11 a12 a13 etc find a33 right already i said if it is 3 by 3 how to put sign plus minus plus minus like that alternative put then minor leave the row and column do the remaining right find all the cofactors write them as a matrix that is we denote a i j and that matrix we call it a cofactor matrix don't write the first element instead of that you write the cofactor you find the cofactor of all the nine elements uh, and write them as a matrix first cofactor second cofactor th that is you are replacing every element by the corresponding cofactors and that matrix we call it as what cofactor matrix but we want to find what adjoint what is adjoint right so cofactor matrix is given now adjoint is very simple you take transpose of this matrix cofactor matrix you got it right so you take transpose what is transpose interchanging rows and columns all of you know how to write the transpose suppose a matrix is given 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is a how can you find a transpose first row you write it as first column 1 2 3 you write like this 1 2 3 second row 4 5 6 right so like this you can write the transpose so this is called adjoint of a matrix so to find adjoint of a matrix the main thing you must know cofactors right how to find you have to be very careful it's easy only but your calculation part you have to be very careful okay now listen adjoint but for 2 by 2 there is an easy method for 2 by 2 there is an easy method please listen for 3 by 3 no other way the given matrix is a you have to find all the cofactors then form cofactor matrix take transpose that is called adjoint 2 by 2 also you can do in the same way 
2 by 2. You can do in the same method. Suppose A is a matrix. A is a matrix like this. You can find cofactors A11, A12, A21, A22, right? A11, A12, A21, A22. Now sign, you have to be very careful. I said that plus minus, plus minus and all, that is only for 3 by 3. So 2 by 2, listen, 2 by 2 will be like this, A11, A12, A21, A22, right? So 1 plus 1, 2, it is plus. 1 plus 2, 3, odd number, minus. 2 plus 1, 3, odd number, so again minus. 2 plus 2, 4, even number. So plus, minus, minus, plus, so be very careful. Plus, minus, minus, plus. A to 1, right? A to plus, minus, minus, plus. You have to be very careful in this. Okay. So, 3 by 3, alternate we write. So, 2 by 2, you have to check that one. Now, listen. Cofactor, very simple. Signed, we check, right? Now, write the minor. First number, leave the row, leave the column. What is left out? D. Second number, leave the row, leave the column, right? This will be leave the row and column. What do you have? C. Third number, leave the row and column. What do you have? B. 2 to this one. Leave the row and column. What do you get? A. Now you write cofactor matrix AIJ called cofactor matrix. What do you do? Replace the elements by the corresponding cofactors. What is the first cofactor? D minus C minus B A. This is not adjoint. This is only cofactor matrix. Now adjoint is the transpose of this. Transpose means interchanging rows and columns. What's the first row? D minus C. You write column. D minus C. Second row minus B. A. Write the second column. This is adjoint of A. But now I am going to tell you the easy method to do this one. With the, you, you must know. Suppose in a two mark question they are asking find the adjoint A. Don't write the answer directly. They won't give mark. Right? You have to write the steps like this. You do that. But there is an easy method for 2 by 2 matrix. Suppose this is A. What is adjoint A? In a single step you can do this. What do you do now? Just two changes you make. Just two changes. What are the changes you know? Principal diagonal interchange. This is the principal diagonal, right? Interchange. A, D. You write D, A. That is the first change. Second change, other two elements, you change the sign. Other two elements, change the, here B is there, minus B. C is there, minus C. That's all, in a single step. What do you do? Principal diagonal interchange. Other two elements, you change the sign. Look one example. Suppose B is equal to 2 minus 3 minus 4, 7. Or say minus 7. 2 by 2, right? Already I said this method is only for 2 by 2 matrix. So adjoin B. Principal diagonal interchange. So minus 7 you write here. This 2 you write here. You are don't change sign and all. You are interchanging. Interchanging. Principal diagonal interchange. Other two elements you change the sign. Minus 3 you write plus 3. Minus 4 you write plus 4. If it is plus 4, you write minus 4. Here minus 4, so write plus 4. This is adjoint B. Okay. So like this, you can write adjoint of 2 by 2 very easily like this. Okay. See this one. If A equal to what is given here? A, B, C, D. Then adjoint A is equal to the two changes. Can you see that? A, D. You write D, A. Principal diagonal interchange and other two elements change the sign. Right? B minus B, C minus C. Like that you can do that. And one very important property is here. A into adjoint A. A into adjoint A is equal to adjoint A into A equal to determined A into I. That's the third. What is given here is very, very important one. They will ask you to verify. How the question will be? So theory part you make thorough. So sums will be very very easy for you. A is a matrix given. They will ask you to verify this. A into adjoint A equal to adjoint A into A equal to determined A into I. So three things you have to prove right. A into adjoint A. Adjoint A into A equal to determined A into I. Which is very easy to find. Determined A you can find very easily right. So what normally we do. You find determinant A. This matrix, the converters determinant, simplify, you'll get some answer. Determined A, got it. 
now determine last one you see what do we want determine day into i right the last one determine day into i determine day you know for example it is say minus 11 now determine day into i is the meaning i stands for identity matrix determine day is minus 11 i is if it is 2 by 2 1 0 0 1 multiply everything minus 11 0 0 minus this is the answer for the third part right this is the answer for the third part now what's the first one you need a into adjoint a second one what do you need adjoint a into a so first one you need a into adjoint a for that you need adjoint a you know how to find adjoint a right principal diagonal interchange other 12 and change the sign adjoint a then you write a into adjoint a a is given in the question adjoint a got it here only i said matrix multiplication row by column first row by first column that you have to practice first row second column second row first column second row second column simplify you are supposed to get the same answer this is the actually this is the first result a into adjoint a next what you need adjoint a into a this is a into adjoint a next we want adjoint a order you change adjoint a right first multiply into a you write there also you will get the same answer so one two three all the three answers are same so this result is verified okay so here you have three mark question and five mark question if it is a two by two matrix the the mark will be three mark it will be a three mark question but if they give a three by three a equal to a three by three matrix if they give and verify this result it will be a five mark because you know adjoint will take time right you have to find all the cofactors so this cofactor the calculation that's the main thing for today's class okay if you're thorough with that one you need practice how to find cofactor then you can do that very easily okay and one more result i want to teach you then we are going to do some sums inverse of a matrix inverse of a matrix suppose a is a matrix not only any matrix some condition there a must be a square matrix and it must be non-singular already I taught what is singular what is non-singular what is singular determinant a zero it is singular non-singular determinant a not equal to zero then a inverse is equal to one by determinant a into adjoint a listen let a be a this is very important a be a non-singular square matrix right let a be a non-singular square matrix then uh, a inverse is equal to then a inverse is equal to what's the formula one by determined a into adjoint a one by determined a into adjoint a. now can you guess i said a must be non-singular also it must be a square the two conditions are must be there okay only if the two conditions satisfied inverse exist the reason is it must be a square matrix why you know only for square matrix you can find determinant matrix can be of any order this is also a matrix but can, have you seen a determinant like this no determinant must be always a square we want to find to find a inverse we want determinant a it so determinant a must be a square so the matrix must be a square matrix suppose if they give a matrix like this find a inverse you cannot find a inverse it is not a square matrix so you say inverse does not exist and the second condition it must be non-singular what's the meaning of non-singular determinant a not equal to zero if determinant zero what happens if determined a zero something by zero it is infinity not defined right so denominator not equal to zero determinant a not equal to zero if determined a not equal to zero the matrix we call it as what non-singular that is why if they ask define inverse of a matrix don't simply write the formula you have to write it properly what is the first you write let a be a non-singular square matrix it's important let a be a non-singular square matrix then you can write a inverse is equal to one by determined a into adjoint a one by determined a into adjoint a now some important results in inverse listen uh, suppose in multiplication in numbers ordinary multiplication 5 into what's the multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse of 5 is 1 by 5 right so this is like our a into a inverse if you cancel these two what is your answer one one is like our i so the corresponding result in matrix is a into 
a inverse a into a inverse equal to i can be reversed 1 by 5 into 5 also one only no so a into a inverse is i or a inverse into a is also i another thing see simple example so you can try, easily you can understand what is 5 into 1 5 into 1 is 5 1 into 5 is also 5 so same way a matrix multiplied by identity matrix a into i is equal to what a i is like 1 same way 5 into 1 is 5 1 into 5 also 5 right so i into a is also a and one more suppose 5 into 1 by, 1 by 5 equal to 1 means you can say two things the inverse of 5 is 1 by 5 or the inverse of 1 by 5 is 5 you can mutually can say right now listen corresponding results we have here uh, a into first one is a into a inverse can be reversed a into a inverse equal to a inverse into a is equal to i that's the first result you remember a into a inverse is i a matrix multiplied by its inverse the answer is i okay see the next one a into i i is like one i said right so a into i equal to a i into a is also a and the third one when you multiply two matrices if your answer is i here listen a b equal to b a is equal to i a b equal to b a is equal to i meaning they are inverses to each other here i said no five's inverse is one by five one by five inverse is five so a b equal to i a b equal to i then you can say a's inverse is b and b's inverse is a so what you get here a inverse is equal to b and b inverse is equal to a so these are some of the very important properties so remember so remember a matrix multiplied by its inverse the answer is what i a matrix into i the answer is what i itself then when you multiply two matrices if your answer is i then the matrices are inverses to each other a's inverse is b and b's inverse is a's inverse is b and b's inverse is a okay so like this so two important results i taught one is in adjoint a into adjoint a is equal to adjoint a into a equal to determined a into i another thing these results okay these are very important thing then the formula we studied how to find a inverse what's the formula for a inverse one by determined a into adjoint but most important thing is how to find cofactor. So if you are thorough with cofactor, today's class you can an answer any question. Okay. Now we go for few sums. Okay. First exercise 1.1. I am taking question number 6 first. Listen to this question. Read this one. Question number 6 is see If A equal to. If A is equal to 8 minus 4. 8 minus 4 minus 5 3 right minus 5 3 this is a what they asked here verify the property in what adjoint what they asked to verify a into adjoint a is equal to adjoint a into a equal to determined a into i i2 they given why because the given matrix what's the order of a 2 by 2 right order of a is 2 by 2 okay even if they give i it is understood if it is a 3 by 3, you take I3. What is I3? 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 that you do. So listen what you do. Already I said this type of question. Since it is a 2 by 2 matrix, it is a 3 mark question. Instead of 2 by 2, they may give a 3 by 3. So it will be a 5 mark question. Okay. Concept same only. Only thing cofactor part you do carefully. Okay. So here listen how. To, so I said which is so three things you have to find. Right. You have to find A and adjoint A. Adjoint A and A. Determined A and everything. But which is very easy. Last one. Determined A into I. So what we do here. We find determined A you can find. Adjoint A you need. So first result if you want you can find adjoint A. It is a 2 by 2. So easily you can do two changes I asked you. These type questions you can do directly. Where I said you do all the steps, suppose question itself, find a join. It's a two mark question or three mark question. Then if you write directly, they may not give full mark, right? So in that case, you write all the steps you write. In another question, it's a part of a question only. So you can use the short method, you can use it, okay? So A is given, what is given here? 8 minus 4 minus 5, 3, right? Adjoin, what I said? Two changes. What changes? Principal diagonals interchange. Principal diagonals interchange. So 8, 3, right? 3, 8. Other two elements change the sign. 
minus 4 you write plus 4 minus 5 you write plus 5 okay this is adjoint 3 4 5 8 then we find the last one what's the last one determined a into i2 so find determinant a how can you find determinant a the a is given write it this is a right write it as a determinant matrix you cannot expand so you write it as a determinant if you simplify 24 minus 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 3 times minus right so matrix multiplication multiply these two then put a minus sign then multiply other two here 8 3s are 24 then in the rule there is a minus then multiply other two minus minus so here on minus so total 3 minus right minus into minus into minus so 3 times minus so minus 5 4s are 20 so you are getting what you are getting the answer of sort 4 this is determinant day but we want determinant day into i2 so listen determinant day into i2 determinant day got it as what 4 so 4 and i2 what is i2 1 0 0 4 if you multiply you are getting 4 0 0 4 take it as result number 1 okay so this is determinant day into i2 but another two more we need what are the other two you need a into adjoint day also adjoint day into a so how can you find a into adjoint day a is given in the question adjoint a got it here you multiply that too right so that is a into adjoint a a into adjoint a a is given adjoint a is given you know how to multiply row by column right first row first column you know how to multiply that that you studied so you are getting the same answer 4004 already got determined a and i now a into adjoint a. one more we want what do you need we want adjoint a into a so what is that adjoint a right first then a adjoint a into a again matrix multiplication so you are getting the same answer in all the cases you will get the steps you have to write okay here i given the answer only i want you to write the steps in all the three your answer is same so you can say the conclusion important from one two and three a into adjoint a equal to adjoint a into a equal to determined a into i okay so it's one of the very important one you can make note of this and later we'll do some three by three also okay look at this question a is equal to three two seven five b equal to minus one minus three five two right a equal to what is given here a is equal to three two seven five right three two seven five b is equal to see b is equal to minus one minus three minus one minus three five two all square matrix 2 by 2 matrix so understand the concept we'll do easily these questions later you can go for uh, 3 by 3 question verify what they asked to verify here a b inverse is equal to a b inverse is equal to b inverse into a inverse have you did a sum like this in 10 standard s instead of inverse transpose right a b transpose is equal to a b transpose is equal to what b transpose into a transpose even that question they can ask here okay so same method here instead of transpose what is there inverse so how we used to do this question first you find a b a into b multiplication a b take transpose of that equation one then b transpose a transpose multiply same answer you'll get then you say that it's a five mark question in 10 standard right similar question only here instead of transpose it is inverse so you must know the formula for inverse what's the formula for a inverse one by determinant a into adjoint so listen the method first then we go for the sum to find lhs first a and b given you need a b first right a into b a into b multiply you'll get some answer okay a b then we want a b's inverse you know the formula for a inverse what's the formula for a inverse one by determined a into adjoint right a inverse is equal to one by determined a into adjoint right so instead of a we have a b so a b inverse is one by instead of a it is a b one by a b adjoint a b that's all so one by a b one by determined a b one by determined a into adjoint a b you know it is a two by two matrix only so you can do very easily so that will be the answer for lhs for rhs you need a inverse separately you need b inverse also what is b inverse one by determinant b one by determinant b into adjoint b right then you find b inverse into a inverse 
B inverse. This answer into A inverse. Don't change the order. It is important. B inverse into A inverse. Okay, these are the steps. Now we can understand very easily. Look at this one. So first you have to find what A B. A into B. A is given, B is given. So you can find A B very easily. Calculation part I want you to do very carefully. Okay, so A B. Next we want A B inverse. For that, first you need what? Determinant AB. AB inverse. We want determinant AB. You know, 2 by 2. How to find determinant AB, right? Then you want adjoint AB. It's a 2 by 2 only. So adjoint AB, you know, in the principal diagonal interchange, right? Principal diagonal interchange. Other two elements, you change the sign. You will get adjoint AB. Then AB inverse, what's the formula? AB inverse is equal to 1 by determinant AB into adjoint AB, right? Substitute the values. 1 by determinant AB is what? 13. Already got it there, right? Got 1 by 13 into adjoint. That is equation number 1. Now for RHS, what do you want? B inverse into A inverse, right? B inverse uh, into A. So we want A inverse. Also we want B inverse. A, you know, what is A? 3, 2, 7, 5. So I want determined A. So determined A means you multiply 5 threes are 15 minus 14, right? 15 minus 14, it is 1. Adjoined A, principal dial interchange, 3, 5, you write 5, 3. Okay, you return there, 5, 3. And here you change the sign. Same way, B inverse also, if I know, right? A inverse, we got it. Same way, B inverse. For B inverse, you need uh, determinant B and adjoined B. So now, after finding that B inverse also, you have to multiply B inverse into A inverse. The order is important. You find B inverse into A inverse. B inverse 1 by 13. A inverse 1 by 1 only. So we are not writing that. Okay. So 1 by 13 into multiply that you will get the same answer. So from 1 and 2 you can say AB inverse is equal to B inverse into A inverse. Okay. It's a very simple thing. You have to practice. But 3 by 3 also you have to practice. Okay. Now, we go for the next question. Listen. Now, we go for a 3 by 3. Right? Find the inverse. If exist. Why they given if exist? Because, you know, inverse won't exist for any matrix. There is some condition I said, right? It must be a square matrix. Is it a square matrix? Yes. What is the order here? 3 by 3. It is a 3 by 3 matrix. But one more thing is that determinant A you have to find, right? If determinant A is not equal to 0, inverse exists. Non singular, right? If determinant A is 0, inverse does not exist. Okay, so A inverse, we give a name for this, we take it as A. Let A is equal to that matrix. You know the formula, then only you know what you find, right? The formula for A inverse, next you write, what is the formula for A inverse? 1 by determinant A into adjoint A. 1 by determinant A into adjoint A, take it as 1. Now, two things you need. What are the two things you need? You need determinant A, also you find what? Adjoint A. You want determinant A and adjoint A. Which is easy to find? Determinant A. Some students, what they do, no? They find adjoint A first. No problem, you can do. They find all the cofactors. Then they form a matrix. What's the name? Cofactor matrix. Then take transpose. They get adjoint A. After that, they go for determinant A. Suppose it is 0. What we did, everything just time waste, right? If determinant A is 0, what is the inverse? Does not exist and you can stop there itself, right? So better always you go for determinant A first. A you cannot expand. So you are finding determinant A. Determinant A is nothing. The matrix A, you write it as a determinant expand it all of you know how to expand it so first element when you take the second one you change the side here three is three is there no so when you change the side minus three so when you write the second element you put minus three okay simplify you are getting the answer as what two you are getting which is not equal to zero that you mentioned there because they asked find the inverse if it exists here the determined day not first you saw it is a square matrix right it's a square matrix that's the first condition second condition determined a not equal to zero here determined a you are getting two which is not equal to zero so inverse exists now we have to find adjoint right see what it's a two three by three matrix two three one first row is two three one second is three four one then three seven two now we have to find the cofactors, right? We have to find the cofactors. I said how to find cofactors. The 3 by 3, you know the method, right? What's the method? A11, A1, A11, A12, A13, like that you write. 
and put equal sign then you write plus minus plus minus plus minus then one by one you do leave the row and column 4 to are 8 minus 7 right that's what you are getting here 8 minus 7 it is what 1 then a 1 2 first you put plus second you put what minus second number leave the row leave the column so what do you get here 3 into 2 6 minus 3 right 6 minus 3 like that you find all the cofactors a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 3 then a 3 1 a 3 1 suffix you see 3 plus 1 is what 4 so that is why it is what plus 3 1 you see this number this is 3 1 leave the row leave the column so this is what you have right 3 in 1 3 minus 4 that is we are getting 3 minus 4 3 1 then a 3 2 and 3 3 all the cofactors you got it now write it as a matrix see all the cofactors well the first one is 1 minus 3 1 minus 3 9 right 1 minus 3 9 then what do you have 1 1 minus 5 1 1 minus 5 last 3 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 this matrix is called what cofactor matrix aij we want adjoint a right what do you do you take in uh, transpose of this right we find transpose so this is the cofactor matrix you can see cofactor matrix now adjoint a is equal to aij transpose aij aij stands for cofactor matrix is transpose so take the transpose first row write as first column right 1 minus 3 9 that you written here 1 minus 3 9 first column second row second column third row third column and this is adjoined a but what they ask to sometimes they'll ask you to find adjoined a only you stop here find the adjoined a only so no need find even determinant right suppose question they are giving say a equal to this one find adjoined a so if a is given find all the cofactors cofactor matrix you write adjoined a is transpose of this first row write as first column 1 minus 3 9 1 minus 3 9 second row 1 1 minus 5 third row minus 1 1 minus 1 like that you can write cofactor okay but here they asked for an inverse nothing just the substitute in the formula what you written first right a inverse is equal to 1 by determinant a into adjoint a okay 1 by determinant a, that is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into adjoint a what you written here the previous step that you are right okay so 1 1 minus 1 minus 3 1 1 9 minus 5 minus 1 okay you can note down this so like this you can find inverse if you know to find inverse they can ask let them ask any question you can answer sometimes they'll ask you only adjoint so you know you can do that one okay so first two questions very simple questions in that exercise they asked to find adjoint first question adjoint then another question find inverse so adjoint that type of question i left that okay that you can practice now the next question you see if f of alpha is equal to cos alpha 0 sin alpha cos alpha 0 sin alpha second row see what is given here 0 1 0 0 1 0 and the third row is minus sin alpha minus sin alpha 0 cos alpha 0 cos alpha sometimes by c so far we have seen some numbers right but now sin cos don't worry it's very easy only okay so what we are using i'll tell you listen here one simple trigonometric identity trigonometric identity simple trigonometric identity what is that sine square theta plus cos square theta is one right sine square theta plus cos square theta is one okay that result you need then minus theta you studied even in ninth standard you studied sine minus theta what sine minus theta minus sine sorry in 11th you study right sine minus theta minus theta you know minus theta is in the angle you measure in the anti-clockwise direction so minus theta means you go in this direction right this is the fourth quadrant first, first quadrant all positive all sine tan cos so in the fourth quadrant cos is positive all other ratios are negative so sine minus theta is minus sine theta 
cos minus theta is cos theta because in the fourth quadrant cos is positive only these two if you know this you can do this sum okay look once again sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 sin minus theta is minus sin theta cos minus theta is cos theta tan minus we don't want anyhow tan minus theta what is tan minus theta minus tan theta okay like that you can do that okay so this is it but see what they asked to find what is the prove that question right it is f of alpha instead of a they given f of alpha function of alpha because in terms of alpha right so don't worry it is a that's all what they asked a inverse f of alpha inverse also they asked find f of minus alpha they asked to prove these two so this is actually only a inverse okay this is a this is a you find a inverse what is a inverse 1 by determinant a into adjoint a that's what you do 1 by determinant a write it as a determinant expand it so many zeros are there no so easily you can do that then adjoint a you know cofactor you find no other way cofactor 3 by 3 you write all the steps okay so that is the answer by LHS. What is RHS? F of minus alpha. You know, F of x is given. 10 standard algebra. F of x, a function is given. F of 2. What do you do? F of 2. Wherever x comes, you put 2. Same thing. So F of minus alpha. So that you can do easily, right? F of minus alpha. Wherever alpha comes, you put minus alpha. Sin minus alpha. Sorry. Cos minus alpha. What is cos minus alpha? Cos alpha. 0. Sin minus alpha, minus sin alpha. Here, minus is already here. Sin minus alpha is minus sin alpha. And a minus is there, right? Minus of sin. For alpha, you put minus alpha. Sin minus alpha is minus sin alpha. That minus and this minus together, it becomes what? Plus. So, this will become sin alpha. Cos minus alpha is Cos alpha, cos alpha. Only here, sin minus alpha is what? Minus sin alpha. All other terms will be plus. 0, 1 and all you write. Only for alpha you put. So, RHS you can find very easily. Then LHS I said like A inverse. Okay, see how we are doing that one. So, here F of alpha is given, right? F of alpha. So, first you find F of minus alpha we are finding. F of minus alpha. As I said earlier, wherever alpha comes you put minus alpha simplify the first one cos minus alpha what is cos minus alpha cos alpha sin minus alpha minus sin alpha right then second row no change third row minus sin minus alpha it becomes sin alpha I already explained right the last one cos minus alpha is cos alpha so this is the answer for rhs now we find lhs lhs is inverse of this to find inverse First, you find, you know the formula, A inverse is 1 by determinant A into adjoint A. Instead of A, we have F of alpha. F of alpha inverse is 1 by determinant A. Instead of that, determinant F of alpha in the adjoint. Okay. So, first, what do you find? Determinant. We are finding determinant F of alpha. You know how to expand it. Okay. Just expand it. Only that identity we use. Cos square plus sin square you are getting. 1 you are getting. Okay. So, that is 1. Which is not equal to 0. So, inverse exists. Next, you have to find what? Adjoint. For that, you have to find all the cofactors we are finding. Right. Cofactors. First, A11. Then, A12. A11 plus minus and all you write plus minus plus minus plus minus like that you write first number this one leave the row leave the column cos alpha minus 0 so cos alpha second one this number leave the row leave the column 0 minus 0 so it is what 0 like that you can find all the cofactors you find well okay A11 A12 A13 and up to A33 and all these write it as a matrix we call it as what cofactor matrix cofactor matrix and take transpose of that and a inverse is equal to what's the formula one by determined here one by determined value is what one so one by one it is one one day so same answer you're getting okay so that is equation number two from one and two you are getting the answer okay so that is you can do very easily Look another question. In this question, a equal to 5, 3, minus 1, minus 2. 
5, 3, minus 1, minus. Very simple question, like your 10th standard question only. What they asked to prove here? Uh, a square minus 3a, right? A square. How can you find a square? A into a. A square minus 3a. A square minus 3a. Then what they asked? Minus 7i2 is equal to 0. All of you know how to prove this, right? A square. Don't simply square it. A into a, right? A square. A into a. The matrix you write two times. Then you write the full expression. A square answer minus 3 into a minus 7 into i2. What is i2? 1, 0, 0, 1. Simplify, you will get 0, 0, 0, 0, and it is equal to 0. That's the answer for the first part. But there is one more part. Hence, find a inverse. Okay, so first part, okay, all of you know how to do that. And the second part is, hence, don't find directly, they won't give mark. And hence, find that is using this result, you have to find what? A inverse. Using this result. Listen. So, first part, you know how to do that, right? First, you find a square. A into a. Write it two times, you'll get some answer. A square. Then you write the full left side. Substitute the values and you are getting zero you'll get okay that's the answer for first part now i'm going to explain the second part for that some of the results what you studied please listen here again what is a inverse in the a you are remembering what is a inverse in the a a matrix into its inverse the answer is what good i the answer is i what is a into i i is like one right five into one five so see a into i is equal to a only that too you need you can do this sum. okay now please listen here you got up to this right we want to find what a inverse the method is take this term to the right side so a square minus 3a is equal to 7i or i2 multiply by a inverse so every term you multiply by a inverse so a inverse into a square. A square you can write a into a. Minus 3 into a inverse into a. Equal to 7 into a inverse into i. So every term you are multiplying by what? You are multiplying by a inverse. Look at these two. a inverse into a. What is a inverse into a? i. So i into a. Minus 3 into. What is a inverse into a? i. Equal to 7 into a inverse and i, i is like 1. So it is what? A inverse. It is A inverse. So now i into a. i into a is what? A. Minus 3i equal to 7 A inverse. We want A inverse, right? 7 you bring it down. This is what you have. So A inverse is equal to 1 by 7 into A is a matrix, you know. This is A a minus 3 into i i is what 1 0 0 1 if you simplify you will get the answer okay so this is how you try i'll explain this part once again listen this one you proved first it's a five mark question using that you all of you know how to find direct method you know right if you, you can check that method for that okay can you tell me what's the answer for determined a directly determinant a right one by determined a one by determined a is what minus 10 right minus 10 minus minus plus so minus 10 plus 3 so minus 7 adjoint you know in the chain the principal diagonal minus 2 5 other two elements change the sign minus 3 1 this is what you are going to get the final answer okay but that method you cannot use it because they asked to prove this and hence find a inverse listen what we did here take this 7 minus 7 i take it to the right side multiply every term by a inverse okay so remember a inverse in a is what i i in a is a a inverse in a is i here a inverse in i is a inverse so from that you can find a inverse okay so listen the steps again so first we had to find this is what we proved first right we proved and take that minus 7 i to the right side then we multiply by a inverse every time you then a square you write a into a so first a leave it 
then a into a inverse is what i a into a inverse is i any method you can write a first a or a inverse of the second you can write the same answer only so when you simplify you will get the answer like this right 1 by 7 into then you substitute the values 1 by 7 into a value minus 3 into i that calculation you can do that you will get this answer and i said if you want you can verify using direct method because it's a 2 by 2 you can verify very easily okay so 3 by 3 means you cannot verify easily but here you can verify look at this question if a is equal to 1 by 9 into 1 by 9 into a yeah, matrix given right what they asked to prove a inverse is equal to a transpose a inverse is equal to a transpose a inverse equal to a transpose there are two methods for this question one method direct method you find a inverse separately you know how to find a inverse one by determinant a into adjoint a then you find a transpose transpose also you know but a transpose you can do it. so when you take transpose transpose is only for matrix not for this one by nine though when you take transpose instead of one by nine you don't write nine by one no transpose you take only for matrix this number you write as it is okay so and another thing if you do the direct method a inverse you have to do very very carefully if this number is not there no problem you can find a inverse usual method if there is some number when you find determinant a here you can write determinant but this 1 by 9 what do you do now 1 by 9 you have to write three times the reason is that is one of the major difference between matrix and the determinant in a matrix suppose you want to multiply by 5 you multiply all the elements by 5 right but in a determinant if a determinant if you want to multiply by 5 you multiply any one row alone multiply by 5 no change in the remaining same way when you take it out also in a matrix if a number is common in all the elements you can take it out in determinant like not like that if one or something is common in one row you can take it out so here 1 by 9 into the matrix means every term we multiply by 1 by 9 right every term you multiply by 1 by 9 when you convert it as a determinant first row you can take 1 1 by 9 second row you can take 1 by 9 third row you can take 1 by 9 so that is why you are writing 3 times but if it is a 2 by 2 matrix 2 times you write ok hope you understood the difference and when you take, take cofactor also if it is a 3 by 3 if it is a 3 by 3 when you take cofactor leave the row and column you multiply this right we put plus minus plus minus everything is okay but here 1 by 9 into right 1 by 9 into something when you find cofactor since there are two rows you write 1 by 9 two times when you find determinant you write it three times because whole thing we take there are three rows so three times you write the outside element okay so that is one method that is not that much easy suppose if they ask 1 by 9 into this given find the inverse you have to do in that way only but here i'm going to teach in a different way a inverse is equal to a transpose you have to prove right so what i'm going to do you find a into a transpose a into a transpose what is a this is a 1 by 9 into this what is a transpose already i said transpose don't take don't make any change in 1 by 9 1 by 9 you write as it is only transpose for this so 1 by 9 into 1 by 9 is 1 by 81 the two matrices you multiply row by column you multiply in this question you will be getting like this so this 1 by 81 divide every term 1 by 81 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so you are getting i here okay this is what you get for this question a into a transpose equal to i a into a transpose is equal to i and reverse you can do that no need to prove you say also we can prove a transpose into a is also i okay that, that you write both one part you prove another you can say we can similarly we can prove now from here how to arrive this i am pre multiplying by a inverse i am multiplying by a inverse pre multiply if you multiply the last that we call it as post multiply if you multiply by a inverse a inverse into a a transpose equal to a inverse into i both the sides we are multiplying by a inverse 
So group these two associative property group these two a inverse into a into a transpose equal to a inverse into i is a inverse because i is like 1. Multiply these two your answer is i right because a inverse into a a matrix into inverse is i i into a transpose is equal to a inverse i into a transpose is a transpose equal to a inverse. This is what they asked to prove, right? So this method we use here, this will be very, very useful also. It's a very simple one, okay? Look at the steps again. So we find A into A transpose. A, you write A transpose, 1 by 9, you write as it is, okay? So 1 by 9, 1 by 9, 1 by 81. When you multiply, you will get, you have to check that calculation, okay? Simplify, you get I. So A into A transpose is I. Also, you can prove a, in, a transpose into A is also I. So now take the first one alone. A into A transpose is I. Then pre multiply by A inverse. So the steps what I explained earlier. All the steps are there. Then later finally you'll be getting A transpose is equal to A inverse. Hope you understood. So what we studied today. Main thing cofactor. So you have to practice questions. More questions find cofactor. Once you know cofactor, then you can write adjoint, write cofactor matrix, take transpose, you'll get adjoint, adjoint on properties. Next class, I'm going to take a lot of properties. So learn every day's results, what I'm teaching and practice the questions, okay? Then what we studied, the inverse we studied, right? Inverse, A inverse is equal to one by determinant A into adjoint A. Inverse of a matrix we studied. There are some properties we studied. Adjoint, one important property I taught. A into adjoint A is equal to adjoint A into A equal to determinant A into I, right? And next class, based on this, I will be teaching a lot of other questions and all. Hope you enjoyed this session. So meet you in the next class.